All right, so this is the 90-90 hip stretch. Uh, we're going to be stretching both legs out in this position. There's two variations to this, and just a subtle tweak will mean if you're going to be stretching the front leg or the back leg. Um, many times people have tightness in both positions. So if you have tightness in both positions, or with both stretches, then do both stretches. If you only have tightness in one of the two stretches, then only do one of the two stretches. If you don't have tightness with any of the stretches, then you don't need to be doing this stretch. But essentially what you're going to do is, again, we're lined up in this 90-90 position, so the knee is facing right towards the camera, and this opposite knee is facing right out to the side, and our knees are bent at 90 degrees. We're going to stay up nice and tall, and we're going to lean forward, taking our chest and sternum over top of this front leg. And as you do that, you're going to feel a stretch in this backside hip if this stretch is going to be helpful for you. Um, now, one other subtlety to this exercise and this stretch is that you want to rotate this back hip towards the camera. So I'm taking this hip and rolling it towards this shin. And we want to make sure we do that before we stay up nice and tall and lean forward because that's going to give us the biggest stretch possible in this front leg. Now that's position one of this stretch. Position two of the stretch is dropping down to your elbow and again rolling this front hip forward towards this shin and this time you're going to feel the stretch in the back side leg here if again this stretch is going to be useful for you. So hold either position at a minimum of 30 seconds upwards to two minutes long and again depending on which position you feel the stretch in, you may decide to spend more time in one position versus the other. So quickly running through the two stretches again, both of them require you to rotate this hip towards this front shin. Once you're there, then you're going to stay tall and lean your body forward to feel a stretch in this downside glute. If you don't feel a stretch there or after you stretch this area out, You'll then go to your elbow, and then you'll roll this shin forward again, and you'll feel a stretch through this backside leg if this stretch, again, is going to be useful for you. So we only stretch what is necessary and needed. We don't waste our time with stretches that aren't leading you to any type of improvement in your uh, range of motion capabilities.